Hello and welcome to this what to do when video. Um, what we're going to be looking at today is a very common issue is what happens when your client has a clicky hip. So um, quite commonly you'll get your client and they'll be training or they might be doing a core exercise or any type of movement, typically leg lowering, and they'll feel a uh, clicking or clunking sensation in the hip. And it can be quite unpleasant, it can be quite audible as well. Um, but what I want to show you today is um, what you can do in situations like that, what it necessarily means uh, and when situations you might want to refer them out just to be checked uh, by a local practitioner. So when you're most likely to encounter this is, is there any type of leg lowering exercise. So if you will, if you bring your knees up for me, please, like that. And uh, this, these are typically things like crunches or, or cyclist crunches that your people uh, see, um, see people doing. So if you just have your knees up like that, let's just have your head supported. So bring your head up just a fraction and then just lo lower one leg down at a time. So you just basically straighten it out in front of you like that and then bring it back like forward. So it's a, a typically seen as a, a lower abs exercise. Um, and what you'll find is it's quite common in people, specifically with females as well, um, and it can be after um, post-childbirth, they'll feel a clicking and crunching sensation in one side. So you pop your legs down for me, please. So what's going on here is basically there is a lack of stabilization of the pelvis. And as that leg is, is moving through space, because the pelvis isn't stable, there's going to be the bone. So the head of that um, thigh bone in the socket might be rubbing against the, um, the socket in a certain way. And because muscles are, you know, again, tight or not moving in it properly, you're getting this clicking sensation or basically the bone catching on a tendon. So what we can do to improve this is that we need to focus focus rather on the hip joint but everything going around in the midsection. So first thing that you can do is by using a cable like this is if you just put your arms there like that, straighten your arms there for as well and just bring them down like this and just holding in there and then bracing the midsection. So take a nice deep breath in and breathe out and pop your rib cage down. So breathe like this is that now we've created some intra-abdominal pressure and some contractions through the midsection, which is going to stabilize um, the, the pelvis as well as the rib cage. If Will brings his knees up like this, we've got a bit more stability and now he can straighten in the sides here and again we've created that pressure where this might take that clicking away if you get your client to do this and they still get that clicking sensation then you go on to the next level of it and what you need to do here is that you'd find the position where they start to get the clicking so let's just say it's on this uh, right hip here that they get the clicking sensation what you would do is you would find the point just where they start to get the, the clicking motion and get them to hold as an isometric there. So just holding that position. So it's, it's teaching them how to stabilize through, the, through that position in space where they get that catching. They'd get that contraction and really tell them to nice deep breath in and breathe out and squeeze through there. Squeeze through that midsection. Now I'd want you to inflate into the side that clicks. So say again, so breathe in, breathe into that right hand side, and then you'd get them to just move their leg through space and then bring it back. So what they're working on is very specific stabilization through the range where the catching happens. And you pop that knee down there. The third one, so the final one that you would do in terms of if they still get that, so there's still some form of discomfort or clicking, is that now we can create some more stability by really utilizing this opposing side. So what we're gonna do is again, the right hip is clicking, it clicks through this range here. We're gonna get some pressure there. We're gonna stabilize the midsection and the rib cage. But now what we're gonna contract is we're gonna push this left heel into the ground and get some left glute. So we have core, we have left glute, and then we're gonna bring this knee up through that range. So the cues are going to be drive this down, get that there. So you're holding it here. So we've got contractions of the midsection. We've got the heel. So you imagine you're doing a leg press. So you're doing almost like a glute bridge. You've got the intention to lift your hips up, but you aren't. And we're getting some good contractions through there. Now, when we move this leg through space, everything's more stable and we can go through that range without the clicking. If the, uh, the client, so that's fine there, mate. If the client still gets the clicking after all these conditions, it may be that they have something called an undiagnosed hip dysplasia. And if they have a lot of pain, irritation, or stuff like bursitis, refer them out to be seen by an appropriate health practitioner so they can get further investigation.